How to do color correction in photos using curves in Photoshop. Welcome to Photoshop Desire YouTube channel. First open image file in new document. First of all to do color correction, we have to find the dark, gray and white points in the photograph. Dark point is for shadows, gray is for midtones and white is for highlights. To find these points, go to adjustments and choose a threshold layer. By adjusting slider left or right, we can find the darkest area and brightest area. Darkest point is on her eyelashes. So I took eyedropper tool and hold shift and click on the dark area to make a reference one. Again I make a slider to move towards right to see the brightest area. These are all white, so I want to choose this area for white point. Take a eyedropper and hold shift and click on the white area to make a reference to. This is for dark point. Black. And this is for white point. White. For some photographs like portraits, finding gray point is very easy. For portraits, zoom onto eyes and choose whites in eye. These whites are neutral and works perfect as a gray point. Take eyedropper tool and hold shift and click on the whites in eye area to make a reference 3-4 gray. For example if photo is not a portrait then it's very difficult to find the gray point. I will show you trick to find gray point easily. Create a new layer. Fill selection with 50% gray color. Control plus backspace keyboard shortcut. Change blending to difference. Again add threshold layer. This time we are going to find the darkest point. Here in her dress top side it is darker. Take eyedropper tool and hold shift and click on the whites in eye area to make a reference for 4 gray. Now I'm deleting all these layers because I already got my reference points. Now select Curves layer. In the Curves Properties window, you can see three eyedroppers, it is for shadows, midtones and highlights. It helps us to fix the color correction in a photograph. Take black eyedropper and drop it in the first reference. We selected it for dark point. Similarly take gray eyedropper and drop it in the third or fourth reference. We selected two points for gray. But I will drop on fourth reference point. Finally take white eyedropper and drop it in second reference. Here is before and after results. Clearly seen her costumes are green, and her blonde hair, and golden look 60s makeup, and red lipstick and other things. 
Due to incorrect camera settings and other environment factors sometimes photographs doesn't come well with true colors. Follow this tutorial and get back original colors to your photographs easily. Thanks for watching. Click thumbs up, share the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. Any suggestions post below in comment section. We need your support and encouragement to spread this channel. See you again and take care.